unlike anything you'll see in Worcester. That's what the developers of the 145 Front Street Apartments are saying about the new building. Nearly six months in, the complex is preparing to add even more to their state-of-the-art facility. And for city leaders, 145 Front is just one example of where Worcester is heading. Arch Cam Jandro joins us now live with more. Cam? Anna, 145 Front is one of just many projects here in the city of Worcester aimed at getting more people to move into the city. And while living high quality can be rather expensive, the city does believe there is in fact a market for it. The city's new 145 Front Street complex is expanding with more than 100 additional apartments. For city manager Ed Augustus, the need for housing in Worcester is still on the rise. So the city's actually growing, our population is literally growing, so mm -hmm. in order to meet that we need to have new units and quite frankly to meet the new expectations uh, of renters. The city has seen a recent boost in the number of apartment units being built. Construction has begun on the corner of Green and Harding Streets and there's the plan to make the former Elwood Adams hardware store into housing units. Augustus says there is a demand for high quality living in Worcester. People want certain amenities, particularly if they're at a certain price point. The market is responding to that. It's creating different types of uh, units that meet different lifestyles, different stages of people's life. The second phase of 145 Front will bring the total up to 360 high quality units directly across the street from Union Station, a location which played a role in the city adding the new complex. Roseland's goal is to build in um, transit oriented uh, locations and this project falls within that. The $565 million project will also offer retail, commercial and medical space. Mayor Joe Petty hopes creating housing in a central location like Worcester Common will benefit the whole city. Bringing the um, vibrancy downtown here, the 18 hour workday downtown, people will be walking down here, uh, foot traffic, uh, you're going to see the city grow. Now 145 Front says they've signed roughly 237 leases and they expect the remainder to be signed in the near future.